Well, it may have been delayed because of COVID, but it is back and hopefully bigger and better than ever. I'm talking about the upcoming Chinese auction that benefits the American Cancer Society Telethon of Eastern Pennsylvania. I'm pleased to be joined by Joe Krasinski. Joe is the Telethon chairperson and also the executive producer for the upcoming Telethon in August. Last year, um, we had to put our events on a several month delay because of COVID. And, and honestly, because there's such a long planning cycle on these things, even though we think we're in pretty good shape with people getting out and getting uh, vaccinated and feeling okay about participating in events, we couldn't count on that. We, we were not in a position many months ago to say we're putting it back in March and April. So here we are one more time, the last time I say, um, delaying our Chinese auction to uh, July 25th. It's at the Lakeside Ballroom. The Lakeside Ballroom has a new owner. I have been to the Chinese auction and I know it is overwhelming with the number of things that you can win. And let me tell you what we've done about that. Uh, because we have, we've opened up some hours on Saturday. We kind of call it the shop and drop. On Saturday of between 6 and 8 p.m., you'll be able to drop by the ballroom and walk up and down the aisles and see all the prizes already on display. Buy your tickets, drop them. We're not going to pull any prizes on Saturday, but you can get an early peek. And then, as you indicated, at 2.30 on Sunday, we'll do the last call on the tickets and start pulling the, the lucky winners. We also uh, can arrange to watch your tickets for you. So you literally don't have to be present to win. Last year, in the middle of COVID, we, had, we couldn't have hundreds of people in the ballroom. And people weren't comfortable doing that anyway. So we announced the winning numbers in the ballroom, but also over a low power radio transmitter. And people were able to sit in the parking lot in their car and listen to the radio and hear the prize numbers being drawn. And so when those numbers were drawn, they just honked their horn, came to the door, and they got their prize. And that was for safety reasons. Well, this year, fortunately, we're not compelled to do that, but we're still going to do the radio options. On August 1st, you are having what is called the Cancer Fighters Dinner. Yes. And it is recognizing volunteers, one of those people being a person that I know very well, Clemmy Yamona, one of the original founders of the Greater Hazelton Telethon. Uh, when the Chrysals and the Ganses got together, Clemmy was involved and she's been involved ever since. So you're recognizing her and I think that's really nice. Well, you know, we had our 40th annual telethon a couple of years back. And I said out loud, because I, I really believe this, we wouldn't be doing this for 40 years if there wasn't someone uh, up the road who had been doing it for 41. And that's the Hazelton's American Cancer Society telethon. And specifically, Clemmy has been involved with every one of them. And she's still setting the pace in that project. And she's over 90 years old. And God willing, I can do something like that uh, when I get to be that age. I think we all wish for that kind of thing. But she's getting the job done. And we wanted to recognize her. And honestly, Lisa, we want everyone. We want everyone to come out. We'll have a, a cash bar a social hour at 5 o'clock, dinner at 6. The program will begin at 7. I want everyone to be there because you care about cancer, because you care about Clemmy, because you want to see what good things happen when volunteers get into action. Today's news feature is brought to you by The Cheese Store and more. Go to their Facebook page to see their specials and check out their catering menu.